Thank you for watching Aim for Survival. Today we're talking tarp shelters. Stay tuned. of your shelter. You will need to control your core temperature. To do this, a smaller shelter is generally best. We'll be wrapping around a tree. We'll be fitted with a bowline knot. I do usually go just below my chin. However, in colder weather, you will want to go smaller, possibly even waist high. But for this demonstration, using a large tarp, we will bring it up to about our chin. Next, we will tie a trucker's hitch. With the rope secured to this tree, and since tight, we will now come to our other tree. getting an approximation of the height, coming off about a foot and a half, creating a bite in the rope, wrapping it around and back through itself. We will feed our working in through this loop. Cinch down. Once we have it tight, we will pinch the two cords together, reach across through, we will pull the rope tight on it to itself. Now that our ridge line is secure and tight, let's add the tarp. The tarp we're using in this demonstration is a battle box tarp. I believe it is 12 feet by nine and a half feet. I estimate our trees to be seven feet apart. This is not a problem. begin with, we will lay it over the ridge line, checking at each grommet point to see which would lead to the better opportunity. Pulling these all the way across, you'll notice we have lots of extra material. Take this from the ground in the front and the back. This will keep it against our ridge line. We go ahead and take our tent stakes. I do prefer metal. In cold weather, your plastic or ABS stakes tend to fail. These also have useful holes for drawing the rope through. 
These could be used as nails. They're sizable for small game such as squirrels. These can be used as a snare pole. We will not stake these all the way in the ground just yet. We'll be seeing approximately where we do want our tarp shelter to be. Once we found that position, we will nail it in. However, we will do our best to pull it tight. With the two rear stakes in, we'll walk around and do the front. At this point, having pre-tied tie-outs on your tarp will be helpful. You'll have a lot more room to play with. If you did line this up at the middle point, if it reaches down to one side, it will reach down to the other. Check for tightness, reposition any corner that has too much slack in it. Here you will see we do have sunlight and a breeze that can travel through here during the day. It is cold, so this here is a problem. We will walk our stakes up one foot, readjust our tent stakes until this one's on the ground too. Again, guesstimating where this corner needs to be and pulling it tight. We will sure up this side. Now, as you see, we have a pup style tent shelter. Reader already knows what these are about. She knows that's pretty much her house and I get to visit. Once again, I want to draw your attention to the ridge line. It does need to be firm. It is what secures this tarp in bad weather. More than enough room for me once I get inside here. survival if you haven't already click that like button comment below share and subscribe until next time guys stay tuned